This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to buy and stake the Dimension DIM token. Dimension is a software solution for easily deploying lightning fast app chains, and there could potentially be hundreds of airdrops coming to DYM stakers this year. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, although I'll talk about how to use a specific cryptocurrency in this video, this is just a tutorial and not a suggestion that you actually buy that cryptocurrency. You should still do your own research before using any of the strategies in this video. Now let's get into it. Although this video isn't a full overview of Dimension, again, it's a tutorial on how to stake. Quick, high-level look at what exactly it is. Basically, it's a software kit for easily deploying your own custom app chains. And eventually, there could be hundreds, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of these app chains deployed if Dimension is successful. Again, that's speculation. However, they've built the tools, and now it's on them to recruit developers to actually build upon upon their network. And if they're able to do that, and if all of these thousands of applications launch, then some of those could airdrop to Dimension stakers. And the reason they might do that is that if they're launching their own token, they probably want to bootstrap their community some way. And one way to do that, as we've seen with staking on other networks in the past, is by finding people who have already held and staked a token, and then giving a distribution to them. And then that's a good way to get sort of your community started and to get some of your tokens out in circulation. And in fact, Dimension itself was an airdrop not too long ago, less than a week before I'm making this video. They airdropped to stakers for Celestia, as well as a number of other communities in crypto, such as certain NFT holders and people who had used certain other applications. And so if you decide you want to stake the DIM token, then there's really two steps. First is you have to acquire some, and then you have to actually stake it. And for this video, we're gonna be using our Kepler wallet, and we're gonna be using our MetaMask as well. Because Dimension's kinda of weird, it's on Cosmos. However, to actually stake through Dimension, you will need an Ethereum wallet. And, and I'm gonna use MetaMask for that. But the best place to buy Dimension if you're not buying it on a centralized exchange is actually through Cosmos. And you can see in this Kepler wallet I have here, this is just my demo wallet. I've got a few different tokens, but I have no dimension at all. And so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to convert some of these other tokens into dimension. And I'm going to convert just a small amount of Atom into dimension. We're just going to convert a dollar or something to show you how it's done. And the easiest way to do that, you can bridge funds over here to osmosis, the main decks on Cosmos, and swap it. But the easiest way to do it is actually going to be directly in the Kepler wallet. So you can swap cross-chain and it will take care of all that bridging IBC transfers for you. To do that, go to this swap function over here. You can see that Atom is an option. And then I have a whole bunch of tokens here. But I'm going to select Dimension. And I'm going to do 0.1 Atom, basically $1.00. You can see that's going to get me 0.13 DIM. It's going to take a slight transaction fee. And I'm going to swap it. And now one question I get a lot when I do these videos is how much do you need to stake to get airdrops? Again, this is speculation because it ultimately comes down to the individual airdrops to decide. Some of them might cap it at $100 of dimension. Some of them might choose to cap it at $500. It's up to them. But I would say in general, I think $100 is a good uh, good sort of target, but I think to be safe if you're able to, again, it depends on your financial means, probably you can guarantee admission and more airdrops if you have more money, you know, at least a few hundred dollars. Because there have been some airdrops recently that have had a higher limit just to try to reduce people from, from creating multiple wallets to try to qualify. And if you look at that, the swap is now completed. We now have some dimension in the wallet. By the way, if you didn't see the option to have dimension before, then you can click on these bars over here and manage your chain visibility to actually make more chains visible. Uh, but it's it'll likely be visible already. But if it's not, you, you can do it that way. Uh, but you can see now we have some dimension. And so then the next step is you actually have to get some here in your in the dimension portal. And so this is weird because this part, you're gonna use your Ethereum wallet. 
to start, I'm going to connect a fresh wallet that I've never used on Dimension before. And you can see it's connected. I have exactly zero DIM. And so I'm going to need to transfer that Dimension from Kepler over here to this wallet. I'm going to copy the address. And then I'm going to open the Kepler. Oh, by the way, you will have to change your MetaMask to, to Dimension. However, as soon as you try to connect, it's going to prompt you to switch to Dimension anyways. Uh, so that's, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, but I'll have to transfer my funds from Kepler over here to that wallet. To do that, click on DIM here in your Kepler wallet. Click on Send. And so, again, always test all transactions, especially anything complicated cross-chain in crypto with like a small amount first, you know, a dollar or, or even less just to make sure it works. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually paste that wallet over here directly into the send thing here. And then, and then on the back end, it's going to take care of moving it over to this Ethereum wallet. You can see, you'll have to select the amount. Uh, I've got 0 0.13 dimension. I always like to leave a little in case I need gas at some point. So I'm just going to do 0 0.12. You can see again, it's charging me like three cents. So if you're moving a dollar, you're going to get eaten up by fees. Uh, but again, I would recommend moving more than that. If you only have a dollar of um, dimension, there's probably other strategies you should look at for, for earning money in crypto. Uh, but we're going to go next. We're going to approve it. And the transaction should just take a second to actually appear in this wallet. You can see it says it was a success. The DIM has disappeared from the wallet. Let's refresh the balance and look, it appeared over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to actually stake some of that dimension. To do that, we can go over here to the stake section and you can see there's a whole bunch of validators. And I don't think it really matters that much. Some of these might be protocols that are gonna airdrop specifically to, you know, to stakers with them. Uh, but for the most part, if you choose one with 5%, uh, and as the network gets more history, choose one that doesn't have a lot of downtime, you should be pretty set. set. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this one, HFA DeFi Dojo, and the reason is that two of my friends run it, uh, Taiki and then Steven the Calculator Guy, you may have watched their DeFi channels as well. I wanna support their work, so I'm gonna stake with them. And I'm just gonna do 0.1 DIM. Again, I always like to leave a little bit for transaction fees. Yeah, one thing to note here is your funds will be locked for 21 days after you do this. And what that means is not after 21 days, you can withdraw immediately. What that means is whenever you go to unstake, you will have to wait 21 days. Even if you wait a year and you go to unstake, you'll have to wait 21 days. So just keep in mind if the market's going crazy, this happened to me last bull run with some things I had staked, you may want to unstake before you think you're ready to sell. Because if you want to sell, you might not get three weeks at the price that you want to sell at. So just keep that in mind as, uh, as the market hopefully continues to go higher. All right, now I'm going to stake. I will sign the transaction. I will sign the second transaction. And let's see if it stakes successfully. My delegation was successfully submitted. I now have staked 0.1 DIM. I don't think I'm really going to get much of anything for staking, staking less than a dollar. Uh, but, you know, this is a demo. Um, if you want to unstake, you can click this button over here, these three dots. You can click on unstake and look here. You will have to wait 21 days. If you want to learn more about how to make money with crypto, DeFi, and airdrops, I have a newsletter that comes out every week, dynamodefi.substack.com. And I talk about a lot of the latest narratives, strategies, and on-chain analysis in crypto. So be sure to subscribe. Again, dynamodefi.substack.com. And if you want more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.